Hi everyone, Curtis Judd here. We're gonna to talk today a little bit about things you can do for your lighting to drastically improve the look of your video. And that can apply to any type of look you're going for. You might be going for a high contrast look with most of the light on your subject and a really low key background. Or you can go for this look, something much softer, uh, much more forgiving on the skin for your talent if they have uh, lines that you're trying to kind of smooth out a little bit. Um, still, still definitely a low key look, but a lot softer. Or you might like to go for the apple look, really high key, and where you can talk earnestly and say things like, it's insanely beautiful, and it just works. Or you might be working with chroma key, where you can put your actor or actress in a different place. You might want to use all these looks at different times depending on the circumstances, but there's one thing you can do that can really make it a lot easier to achieve each of those different looks with reliability, and that is to choose the right light bulbs. Now, in previous episodes, I've talked about using the clamp lights from the Home Depot or any other hardware store, and uh, that's still the case here. But let me tell you a couple things about light bulbs that you should really be careful when you're looking at purchasing compact fluorescents. The first thing is the color temperature of the bulb, and that'll be on the package somewhere. You want something that's daylight, or 5500 Kelvin, maybe 5600 Kelvin, right in that range. And you'll want to turn off any other lights. The second is CRI, or Color Rendering Index. This is a measure of how well the light produces a spectrum so that your eyes can distinguish between different colors. And the range is from 0 to 100. Most bulbs that you purchase in retail stores won't have a CRI rating on them, but you want a bulb that is actually rated, and specifically rated on the high end, typically 90 or higher. The reason for this is that it gives you raw footage that you can then edit and get the specific look that you're looking for. Now the best bulbs I've found that meet these criteria, you can find over at bluemaxlighting.com or fullspectrumsolutions.com, same company. Um, the great thing about these bulbs is that they're reasonably priced. They're just a little bit more expensive than when you would normally play over at your retailer. Um, they are 5500 Kelvin. They are 93 and higher CRI. They also make the bulbs in 27 watt or 50 watt, which are both perfect for uh, video, especially if you're going to be using the clamp lights that I talked about in some of the other videos. Um, it's worth the extra few dollars and it's not very much more and you'll find yourself a lot less frustrated in being able to get reliable results and not have to fight with the footage after you bring it in to your editor. Another feature of these bulbs that's really nice is that they're umbrella shaped which means that they are not as long as typical bulbs that you'll purchase at your local retailer. Um, and what, why that's important is that that means that more of the light source is coming from within your reflector. And the more light that comes from within your reflector, the more you can actually direct onto your actors and actresses. If it sticks out the front too much, a lot of it gets diffused and falls off and doesn't get directed in the right direction. So that's a nice feature to have. Now the question is, how much of a difference does this really make? Is it really worth the extra money and having, you know, instead of just going to the retail store and bring them home, having to wait for them to be shipped. Well, their shipping is quick, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Here is a recent video that I shot with some other bulbs. Now, keep in mind, everything you've seen so far in this video has been shot with the Blue Max lights. This footage I'm showing you now was shot with some bulbs that I picked up at the Home Depot, which were very large bulbs. They had great output. Um, they were rated at 2700 Kelvin, which is not a problem because I just changed the white balance on my camera to 27. K. But the problem was they had no CRI. And what you'll notice if you look specifically at my eyes is that the colors are kind of muddy. You really can't tell much difference. My eyes look not nearly as blue as they do with the Blue Max lights. And the reason for that again is because this bulb just that bulb just had really low CRI. So I think it's definitely worth the extra um, few dollars to go with the Blue Max lights. Again, those are at bluemaxlighting.com and fullspectrumsolutions.com. Thanks again for watching. Hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you again soon.